Today in the Big Bang, make these explosive depth charges with baking powder. Find out why we're doing an experiment with a brass band and a steam train. And make these groovy eye-bending cards. And welcome to the Big Bang. Here's a puzzle for you. Can you move a plastic beaker full of juice across a table using only a balloon? Gareth. Can you touch the beaker? Only using the balloon. OK, well, if I stretch the balloon, I should be able to twang it across the table. Ah! <laughs> it's going to knock it over. It can be done. Have a think about it and I'll reveal the secret at the end of the show. <sighs> Hang on, I've got it. No, I haven't. Violet, it looks like Doris the Octopus has been out of her tank again. Oh, no. What's she stolen this time? Well, look, she's got all our pens and stuff. Gareth, break out the depth charges. Right. Don't worry. Doris doesn't mind. This is just our latest game. The idea is to shake loose all the stuff that Doris has stolen. And the best part of this game is the way that we shake the stuff loose. Depth charges. Oh! <laughs> Nearly got one. You can make depth charges even if you haven't got a pesky octopus that steals everything. Start off with one of those plastic containers that you get film in. Make sure it's round and that it's one of the ones where the lid seals on the inside, not the outside. Weigh your container down with six small marbles, then it'll sink to the bottom, and then cover the marbles with vinegar. The clear stuff is best of all, so it just comes above the marbles like that. Then you'll need some baking powder. You get baking powder from the baking department of a supermarket and you'll need one of the lids off a sweet tube and fill that with baking powder, like so. The next step is to float that sweet lid full of baking powder in the vinegar very carefully. That's it and then also carefully replace the lid. You now have a primed depth charge. So carefully again, hold it over the water and to set it off, tip it up and drop it in. Ready? It works because the vinegar reacts with the baking powder, creating carbon dioxide, a gas, which builds up until it pops the lid off. The aim of the game is to dislodge the stationery that Doris has stolen. The stationery is stuck to a ping pong ball stuck in a cocktail stick and that's all stuck in a bit of modelling clay at the bottom of the tank. Now, when the depth charge explodes, that should dislodge the stick and because the ping pong ball is full of air, it'll all float to the top of the tank. Now, whatever you do, don't do this in a fish tank with real fish in it. Doris is, of course, made of modelling clay. And if you'd like to make a Doris, there are lots of pictures of her on the Big Bang website. OK, Gareth, I reckon three more should do it. OK, hang Ready? on. I've got some primed here. Go on. Oh, one lucky. Another one? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you got one. Oh, no. I'm going to go for the pink one. Vampire! No, not you. This. The Vampire Bat. Legend has it these chaps suck up blood through their fangs. But that's a fib. They actually lap up the blood with their tongues. Here are two more things about vampire bats. Can you tell which one is the big fib? Fact or fib? When a vampire bat bites its victim, it releases a liquid into the wound called draculin. It stops the wound from healing and keeps the blood flowing onto the bat's tongue. Fact or fib? The vampire bat can't fly, so it has to chase its victim on foot. Then it climbs up its prey to find a juicy place to bite. 
So, which is the big fib? Make your choice now. Well, vampires do produce a chemical called Draculin, so the big fibber is Ernest. Vampire bats can fly, but how weird is this? They really do walk up to their victims and then climb up them very carefully to make sure they don't wake them up. Sounds batty, but hey, whatever works for you. Looks like my hypnosis machine is working. Come this way and I'll show you how to make one. You start off with a biro. In fact, you only need the lid of the biro and tape it to a bit of garden cane like that. Now, slot your garden cane into a straw and cut off small amounts of straw two you'll need to tape to either end of a box file. Now slot in your garden cane there. This hook is just a giant paper clip. Get someone who's good with pliers to cut and shape it into a swan shape and then slot that in as well. Next, get that person who's good with pliers to cut the straight bit off a pair of coat hangers and slot the first one into the straw at the other end and plug it up with a cork to make it safe. And get them to straighten out a paper clip, slot on a cardboard disc, thread through a bead and glue that whole thing to the other straight bit of coat hanger. Thread it into the pen lid so that it doesn't quite reach the upright. Then get that plier expert to turn this bit of paper clip into a hook. You are in my power. Glue a marble to the end of a piece of string and then tape it here. And it'll all droop down now, so we need some tacky blue stuff to counterbalance it. Then get a couple of lucky bands and tie them together and uh, thread them through the hooks made out of paper clips up here and down here and your hypnosis machine is ready to wind up. Be careful of your eyes when you're doing this. When the arm swings round, the marble swings out slightly and the string wraps itself around the upright. Then when it unwinds, the arm is free to swing round again. It's a very simple thing, but somehow, once you start watching it, it's almost impossible to tear yourself away. Isn't it, Gareth? You'll find instructions for my hypnosis machine and everything else from the show on the Big Bang website. This is a story of a really, really, really boring science teacher. His name was Christian Doppler. He taught physics at a university in Austria. Austria is like Germany, only more boring. Sometimes I am so boring that I bore myself to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry, where was I? Where was I? Shame he was so boring because he had a brilliant big idea. Doppler's big idea was to do with sound. Listen to a fly. It sounds higher when it comes towards you and lower when it moves away. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder if this is to do with the sound waves. Doppler knew that sounds travel as waves through the air. And he wondered if the change might be caused by the sound waves getting squashed together as the fly flew towards him and then stretched out 
as the fly moved away. News of Doppler's theory reached Christoph Boys Ballot. He was a scientist who lived in Holland, which is like Germany, only a lot more interesting. He was so thrilled by Doppler's sound wave idea that he devised an experiment to test it. One, two, three, four. He persuaded a brass band to play a single note. The band would then stand on a train and the train would steam through a station as fast as it could. According to Doppler's theory, the band's instruments should sound higher as the train approached, but lower as the train departed, even though the musicians were playing exactly the same note. It worked. Listen as the note changes. It worked. Doppler's theory was right. In honor of its discoverer, the phenomenon is called the Doppler effect. Listen for it yourself the next time you hear a police siren or a brass band on a steam train. with my puzzle then. You had to use a balloon to move a plastic beaker full of juice across a table. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. You blow up the balloon and in doing so, move the tumbler. Watch this. Oh, ah, stop, stop it. It does move it a little bit, <laughs> but it's going to tip it, isn't it? There's I'm a better spilling way. everywhere. Right, you inflate it inside the tumbler. Oh, I've got it. So it grips the tumbler. You're not going to be able to pick that up though, are you? Yep, really ah, high don't go well. <laughs> over the furniture, <laughs> over me. Brilliant result to a top puzzle, well done. There's lots of other top puzzles on the Big Bang website. As well as details of everything else we've made in today's show. That's it for now. See you next time on... The, the Big Bang. Bang! In the next Big Bang, make your own frenzied flying machines from bits of plastic. The story of the bashful man who invented the stethoscope and a cool, relaxing lamp made from papier-mâché.